All right, guys, uh, let's do a honest review on the two AV receivers that I have in here. And I'm going to give you my personal, you know, opinion, uh, feedback on both of them. I mean, both of them are excellent. And I'm just going to tell you which one do I prefer, you know, better uh, pros and cons about one or the other. And, uh, you know, let's take a look. All right. Now, first of all, we have the Marantz 5013. This is an excellent device. It's a 7.2 channels, and it's got all the bells and whistles that, you know, you can possibly need. This is a 2018 model, and I've been using it for about four months or so, and it's an excellent, excellent device, you know. Uh, excellent. I, I have nothing bad to say about this. You know, the setup on this, it's a little bit tricky, so you need to know how to set it up. And I think I had an extra video in there uh, explaining. And I could give you a couple of pointers right now. The thing is, each one of the inputs has got its separate settings. So that's what it is. I mean, once you get to master that, I mean, this device is going to be awesome. And also, within those settings, there is also a subsetting. So it's kind of hard to explain, but once you get this device and you get to play with it you're going to know what i'm talking about all right nothing bad to say i like my rants you know many people say that is a mid fi i don't think so this thing it's it's superb it sounds great and it's excellent device all right but i also got this guy this is an anthem mrx 520 this one is superb. It is an excellent device. The only thing, this is a, a simple five channel versus seven channels. The sound on this one, it is superb. Excellent device. You know, I have no nothing wrong to say about this because it is top notch. Okay. Sturdy, well built. The quality, it is impeccable. You know, the support of Anthem, I just call there. They're friendly guys over there. I wish they can let me hang out, you know, my days over there, over there because they're <laughs> nice guys, nice people. They were with me for about half an hour trying to troubleshoot this. I mean, nothing wrong with it. I was, I was just uh, trying to uh, get to uh, on the settings. I got stuck in something, but at the end, it's very easy, okay? To me, this is easier than set up. The, the Marantz, all right? Definitely the, the Anthem, it's uh, it's easier. Why? Well, it's because it's got less belts and whistles, all right? Let's talk about the negative on this one, all right? This one does not has a built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Does not has. So you need to plug in the, uh, the, the Ethernet, you know, to feed uh, Internet. And uh, you can use a DAC of any sort to, you know, to, to, so you can get your movies, music, and whatever, okay? The one that I'm using for either one of those, it is the NVIDIA Shield, okay? And if you don't know about this device, <laughs> you should get this. I mean, this will give you TV, music, uh, YouTube, Netflix, uh, every single channel there is uh pandora everything you know you, you'll get the one that i use in here it is uh uh i i use cubus and uh i use title okay so i got i got both this device it is excellent okay going back uh drawback about this for example in here you have a usb port and in here you have a usb port on the Marantz, I could load this that is full with MP3s and I could play music straight from here. This one does not support that. This USB port, it is only to do updates on the device. And that is it. doesn't have anything else, all right? Uh, another bad thing about this one, it is... I think that's it. Sound quality. Uh, which one do I choose? Sound wise, they're both great. I cannot choose one over the other. All right. I definitely, I cannot. This one sounds superb. This one does too. Okay. Personally, which one do I pick between the mini, mini, mo, mini, 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 mo? I choose the Marantz. For my personal preference, 
for the sound, for what I need, you know, the USB, the capability of streaming directly from my phone without having go through with NVIDIA, it is great. Nothing wrong with NVIDIA, but the thing is, this is more, uh, more advanced in bells and whistles. And sound quality is the same as this one. Again, nothing wrong with the Anthem. The Anthem, it is a powerful device. It is it is a jaw-dropping device. But so is this one. Okay? That's, that's what it is. And again, my setup is not that expensive. You know, I have uh, the CD player. It is going to be a Marantz. Back in my entertainment media, it is this one. Everything is... Uh, uh, powered by, uh, you know, the, the Atcom. This is a power uh, cleaner, power enhancer. Um, my uh, stereo amplifier is a Parasound 2250V2. Subwoofer, it is a uh, Bauer Wilkins. Okay, let's go again with a Parasound. I think it was a little bit blurry. Bar Wilkins uh, subwoofer. It's not here, but I have a Bar Wilkins a uh, center channel that it doesn't fit right now with what I have, but it's soon to come. And then uh, my main speakers are Sonos Faber. These are my favorite speakers of all time. I don't, I don't, you know, for my main, nothing beats Sonos Faber, and also the looks, you know. Again, my choice between the Anthem and the Marath and the Marantz, I choose the Marantz, okay? A lot of people say, oh, it is uh, mid-fi, it is not as good as the Anthem. No, 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 no. Possibly you hear this from dealers trying to sell you Anthem. And again, nothing wrong with the Anthem. It sounds superb. But to me, this one, it, it just holds its own, you know? The Marantz, once you know how to set it up, it's it's it does the same thing, and this one does a lot more things that, than that one. So uh, that is my opinion on that. You know, uh, you don't have to agree with me whatsoever, but uh, both are excellent device. But if I get to choose, my choice of preference will be the Marantz. All right.